Hello, welcome to Tabletop CP. And today we're heading to Belgium, December 1944, for a game of Chain of Command. All right, so uh, we're going to be trying a winter game out today. It is Christmas time here and everywhere else, everywhere else in the world, so we figured we'd break out the uh, the uh, winter armies and the little bit of winter terrain that we do have and play a winter game. Today's game is going to be using platoons from the Two Fat Lardies Bloody Bucket campaign. So it's going to be the Volks Grenadier Sturm Platoon versus a platoon from the 28th Infantry Division, the Bloody Bucket. So let's dive right in here and we'll start off with the terrain. So first of all, our map we're using today is the uh, Frozen Track by Geek Villain. So we've used this a few times. Uh, it's one of the few pieces of winter terrain that I do have aside from a few bare trees that aren't even done yet. Uh, so we're going to be using that map. And we're going to say this is a road instead of a river this time. So this is the main road through this little village. And other than that, uh, for dense terrain, or I'm sorry, for woods, um, we're going to have a patch here, patch here, patch here, patch there, patch over there. And those are going to be soft cover and um, dense terrain or slow you down a little bit. I, you can't run through it, essentially. Um, all of these type of buildings are going to be soft cover. These fences are going to be soft cover, two inch visibility. These fences are just going to be soft cover, uh, no limit to visibility. The church is going to be hard cover, and the wall around the church is going to be hard cover as well. And that's it for the terrain, pretty straightforward, so let's talk about the mission. The mission today is taken from the Blitzkrieg 1940 Handbook Supplement for Chain of Command, and it is the Blitzkrieg mission. So the attacker, in this case, is going to be the Volks Grenadiers attacking, trying to break through the American lines at the beginning of the Battle of the Bulge. The attacker will place three patrol markers along his board edge. The defender will place four patrol markers up to two feet from his board edge. And then the attacker will get up to three free moves. And then whoever has the higher force morale will take the first move in the patrol phase proper. And then we'll roll off to see uh, support points. It's a 2d6 and add six to that for support points. Of course, um, adding any force rating difference. And the objective is for the Volks Grenadiers to get two units off of the American board edge before they can call up their support. So in this case, support does not mean support units bought with support points. It means the rest of the division arrives and puts an end to any kind of German push through this area. So to call up their support, the Americans need to play two full chain of command dice. Once they do that, the game is over. Uh, the German player, however, can reduce the amount of American chain of command points by three if he plays a full chain of command dice. So it's a way to keep the uh, buildup of the American chain of command dice uh, in check. And that's pretty much it. Pretty straightforward mission. Uh, it'll be hard to get two units off the board, I think. It's hard to get one off, so two is going to be uh, even harder. But uh, we'll see. Hopefully the amount of support the Germans get allows them to have something to uh, make the Americans think a little bit. So... Uh, that'll be it for the mission. Let's talk about the forces. Start off with the attacking German platoon. So this is a force from the 26 Volks Grenadiers, which was a mixture of green replacements and experienced NCOs. So these guys are considered green. So if you're green, you have a reduced deployment distance from your jump off point. You have a minus two on your force morale roll. And you're easier to hit in shooting, which we'll get into during the game. So this is the Sturm platoon. It has a force rating of zero. They do have five command dice still, even though they're green. And the force is led by Unterfeldwebel Nils Vesterman. And he's armed with a submachine gun. And it, with him is a three-man team. And these guys are armed with rifle grenade launchers and each has a Panzerfaust. So these guys can be either left as is and be a team in command of the senior leader. Or the German player can just farm them out uh, to the squads as he sees fit. Uh, then we have two Sturm uh, squads. So these are single team squads and each consists of seven guys with assault rifles and an NCO with an assault rifle and there's also two Panzerfausts uh, per squad as well. And the assault rifles are going to be new to us. I don't know if we've ever used them before so that'll be interesting. And then uh, rounding out the platoon, the third squad here is an LMG squad. It's led by an Obergerfreiter with an MP40. There's two MG42 teams. Uh, one has three guys, one has four guys, and they also have two Panzerfausts. So that is the Sturm Platoon. Over here we have a platoon from the Bloody Bucket Division. Their force rating is plus one. 
and uh, they're regulars and they're going to be commanded by uh, our newest patron, our newest operator patron, Lieutenant Mark Donaldson. So uh, thanks to Mark for joining the operators and assisting him is going to be Platoon Sergeant Josh Bruder. He is armed with an SMG, he is armed with a carbine. And then the platoon is made up of three squads, all identical. Each squad is an eight-man rifle team with Garands. And then there's a three-man BAR team, which is one guy with a BAR and two riflemen. And then there's an NCO with a submachine gun. And all of our NCO, all of our squad leaders today are going to be your patrons as well. So our tan base here is going to be Corporal Doug Eaglesham. Our black base here is going to be Corporal Ryan Horton. And then we have Corporal Andrew Cox up here leading third squad. And that oh, and they have a bazooka team as well. So. That is the American platoon, so force rating difference plus one only, so that'll only give the Germans one extra support point. And that'll do it. So uh, when Andre gets here, we'll decide who's going to be who, and we'll get started. So Andre's arrived. I'm going to be the Germans. So I'm going to be the green guys trying to get off of the board. Andre's going to be the Americans defending. Uh, patrol phase is complete. Andre's wound up with one here in these woods. He's got another one here uh, next to this building. And he's got one inside of that building. Meanwhile, I have one at the back edge on the edge of the board in those woods. I have one right there behind the church. And I have another one in these woods here. And that is the... Uh, patrol phase jump off point placement and now we will go ahead and oh uh, force morale I'm a nine even with the minus two I rolled a six and Andre's a ten and we will now oh <laughs> and it was 16 support points I rolled a ten plus six uh, so Andre's gonna get eight and I'm gonna get 17 because of the force rating difference and now we will go over our plans all right so the German plan I have 17 points which is just enough to bring a Stu-42 and a Panzer IV, which is what I'm going to do because I'm going to have a hard time getting off the board. I mean, I got to get all the way across and get two units off that board before Andre collects two chain of command dice. So I'm going to need something mobile that has some protection and hope to hell that I can get off the board. Uh, my green troops, I, I'm over there, so I'm going to try to set up as best as I can in that area. And... Um, maybe deploy over the fence and line that fence and if I can get within 18 I got those assault rifles and the assault rifles are three shots each if they're within 18 so if I can get up close with those uh, Sturm squads I can really lay out a hell of a lot of firepower and overwhelm an American squad even if he's hitting me easier so my plan with those my Sturm squads is pretty much deploy them over here and try to get within 18 of Andre here at least keep him off because he knows that those assault rifles can pump out a lot of shots. I'll probably put my SM LMG squad back here as a base of fire. I don't like to do it. Um, I don't like to put a squad by itself, but um, I, I may do that. We'll see. Or I may put them in the church. I don't know yet. But Sturm squad's over there, and I'm going to have both of my tanks are going to deploy from this edge. Uh, there's no road, so I can deploy them anywhere. I'm thinking about maybe trying to send one right up the edge here and just scoot off and then maybe have the Stu-42 um, take its time and provide support with its howitzer uh, to blow away some Americans. So um, Maybe I can get the Sturm squad off if I can get them to the edge of that fence and then out. I don't know, but for now my plan is to get both vehicles off and use the Sturm squad to suppress and keep the Americans down while I drive off. Andre's got eight points, so he'll probably bring an AT gun, I'm sure, because he probably knows I'm bringing tanks and he's got a bazooka as well so even with two tanks it's not going to be an easy task with a AT gun and a bazooka team possible flamethrower team out there as well so that's my plan American plan alright well hey I'm defending uh, I've got uh, superior troops 
and uh, really it's just uh, Travis has to make a big push uh, through so I'm gonna be kind of waiting in ambush I uh, chose my jump off points so that I could uh, try and get some cover and uh, support I guess that's the biggie I took the uh, 57 millimeter because I know Travis is going to be bringing some sort of a vehicle and I brought the flamethrower team it's also excellent against vehicles and it'll just destroy those green troops so um, yeah really it's just going to be looking for opportune times to uh, uh, do some damage. So I don't know if he's going to probe my lines uh, with scout teams or just kind of make a, a ginormous push. Um, I'm guessing that there's going to be a bombardment, so I'm going to have to uh, check that out to see if my uh, troops are going to be coming in. I might actually have to deploy some stuff earlier than I want to just because I might not be able to get it on the table when I need it. So we'll, uh, we'll see. Oh, yeah, he didn't say anything about a Stuka bombardment, uh, bringing the Stuka, which we have a, a house rule that you have to tell your opponent if the Stuka is coming. So, um, kind of surprised he didn't do that. But uh, anyway, yeah, I'm just uh, I've just got the two support units. Um, they're both real heavy hitters, and um, it's really going to be about me just. Uh, you know, coming in, doing some serious uh, damage, and not uh, letting him uh, get too close to me with those uh, um, assault rifles. So we'll see what happens. That's the plans, and now we will begin. I'll, it doesn't specify who goes first. Sometimes it says higher force morale goes first. So we'll just say this: uh, the attacker goes first, since it doesn't uh, specify. So here we go. Uh, five command dice for the Germans. Five red dice. Five red dice. That's like eight eight support points. <laughs> <laughs> uh, th three threes. That's wow. Not bad. Okay. Uh, all right. The Germans uh, brought in three things. I brought my Stu 42, one of my support choices here on Overwatch. LMG squad came in here in these woods on Overwatch, and then one of my Stern squads came in here. So all three of these squads are covering those woods and that house. And that's it, so it's the American phase. That's right. Yahtzee of fives. Oh, two fives. I'll take it. Two I'll fives, it. a three, and a four. All right, so Andre is not gonna bring anything in. Two more fives, wow. okay, that's good for me. We're racing. A four, two fours and a two. Uh, so I, the four and the two fours I didn't use. Uh, with the two, I brought my uh, last Sturm squad in here kind of overlooking that area, and everyone else is still on Overwatch, so back to the Americans. Andre's phase. Yeah. Two more fives, so he's up to four, and three and a two to work with. So Corporal Horton's squad is deployed here, and Andre's arranged it, so he's two inches behind the fence, so he's out of line of sight, except for the BAR team, which can see my green troops here, and he's needing only fours to hit me. Three hits. Three hits, all right. And I roll these, don't I? No, I roll these. You roll. I need three dice. Three dice. All right, so this is one team, so, uh, but I am in soft cover. Nothing. Wow. All right, boys. Uh, so that was a two or a three. I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah. Is that all you're good. bringing? Okay. It's a German phase. Come on, boys. Oh, double phase. Nice. <laughs> and another five. And then a two and a three. Hmm. Three, I brought the Panzer IV in, because it's my last support unit, so that's all my support points. He went on Overwatch. These guys moved over 1d6 to get some half effect fire on that BAR team. Only got an inch, but I was still able to get five of them in line of sight of the BAR team who are in the open. So I'm going to get half of that, so we're going to say two shots. Uh, nothing. So next phase. So we're going to do one more full one, and then drop, and then that's it. Two more fives. Ah, look at that. And a one and a four. Oh, but I can bring in my uh, my extra team and my leader with that. Extra team. Yeah, I have a three-man kind of Panzerfaust team ah. attached to the lieutenant. Okay. A little different. So I'll bring. I'll probably bring these guys in.
got my extra three-man, I don't even know what to call them, tank hunter team here uh, behind the house. And then I brought uh, Vesterman in here. He's within four of them. He's within nine of them. And he's going to order these five guys to fire at the BAR team again. So let's see if we can get a hit here. Three hits. Wow. In the open, Andre. Uh. Come on, kill the bastards. Uh, one dead and a shock. Check your leader. Okay, it's not Horton. All right, so one dead out of the BAR team and a shock. And that's it for me. I'm fully deployed and it's the American phase. Go for it, Andre. Only uh, one another five. five. Oh man. Two ones, a two, and a four. Lieutenant Donaldson is coming in here, and he's going to order. He pulled the shock, and he's going to order marching fire. So you're, he's going to fire the. Well, you only got four shots now. Oh, I guess he's got a carbine. All right, he fours. Four hits. Four hits. Uh, that's not good. Well, it ain't easy it's being green. Than last time. Uh, so you got a uh, two shock. Okay, and then for my move. Six inch move. Wow. So two shock on these guys. And then they're going to move. L Lieutenant Donaldson just moved those guys back there behind the building. So now we have no line of sight here. And back to the Germans. <laughs> Three fives. <laughs> well, I don't think I'm going to have a problem keeping Andre's dice down but I have a problem doing anything else. I was gonna say, don't you have an objective you're working towards here? I'm trying to get off the board if I can move my tanks. I haven't gotten a three in a while. Okay, two ones. All I could do is just move this team here. They moved up pretty good. So they're still two inches from the defense. And back to the Americans. I'll <laughs> see your five. three fives and raise you a one. Actually, that's exactly what you rolled, isn't it? I think so. No, I rolled two ones. <laughs> <laughs> I beat you by one. Okay. So you're going to be at one and then two on the other one? Yeah. Uh, maybe I should use it earlier this time. Well, I'm, I'm within striking distance. You are. Maybe I'll wait one more. That's what I said last time. I'm like, why? <laughs> yeah, okay, I'll use it. Drop it by three. All right. So I've used mine uh, to drop him down. It'll be... Are you going to do anything? Um, yeah, I can uh, bring in a squad and put them on Overwatch. Andre's not going to do anything. Hey, what? there's some threes. No fives. No fives that time. Uh, two threes, three threes, and a two. Right, so I moved my Panzer IV up. They stayed on Overwatch. This squad, meanwhile, sprinted. They only went seven inches, so they, but they took a shock. But they are with Vesterman now. And this squad was able to clear the fence from where they were with a double six for moving the lowest. So now I have a Sturm squad and then that anti-tank team up here. Uh, ready to maybe make a break for the board edge who knows and that'll be it so american phase you can do it fives. No, fives. no fives uh, uh no fives. perfect so one two three four yep okay uh, so andre has brought in i believe that is lieutenant or uh, corporal eagle sham squad over there just to keep those guys honest and he's brought his bazooka team in here I should, guess I should say those guys are on Overwatch, shouldn't I? And then he is going to fire the bazooka at the Panzer IV. I'm needing a six, I believe. Rolling under a six. Oh, he got it. Woo. So it's seven. You're a seven, and I'm a seven. I'm armor seven. You're AP seven. So gain those. Grab those dice. All right, the bazooka hit the Panzer IV, and we are going to roll it up. Ah! That's a crap roll. Oh wow! Around. Uh, one you didn't net. roll over a two, Travis. Yeah, you know, we only got one six, so it's a one yeah. net hit. So roll a d6. Well, but I got a three and a four higher than anything <laughs> else you rolled. That was really bad. Wow. So a d6 on one net hit. Uh, one shot, gun sight damaged, minus one to hit. Okay. Okay. So one shock. I'll just put this on here for gun sight damaged. All right, and is that it? Um, you still the uh, marching fire, they'll retreat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but I have Overwatch here. Yeah. So this squad can see the bazooka, barely. A bunch of them can see, the, well, 
but we can see it, so we'll figure it out. My LMG squad will fire at the bazooka, uh, needing fives. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is that right? One. Yeah. Okay, six hits on the bazooka and soft cover. I'll spread them up between the loader and the bazooka. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Uh, just one point, point of shock. shock. Yeah, it's not too bad. Wow. All right, so my, my overwatch goes away on that. And actually, we both kind of skated on that. Yeah. Is that it for you? Uh, the overwatch is gone. It is. Um, so Andre's done. So the bazooka is out. Hey, I got a five. Uh, so I'm up to four again. No, th oh, I can make a three. Okay, <laughs> four and a two. I was gonna say, damn it, not again. All right. Uh, so Vesterman uh, pulled the shock. They moved up two d six. I only got five, so they're kind of hesitant. Over here with the three, I had the tank pull the shock, and he's gonna fire. Or we'll see. We're gonna wait there. But first, we're gonna have this squad fire with the two back at the bazooka and see if we can do a little bit more damage to him this time. One, two. Three, four, five. Five hits on the bazooka. Soft cover. Ah! That's two more shock. So they're at three shock now with yep. two guys. One more, they're going to break. Uh, okay, I'll have the uh, coax fire at you there. Can you measure that and see if that's 24 there? Yeah, that's okay. easily. So I'll be hitting on fours. Or we'll have the whole gun. The whole, the whole machine gun is going to fire at the bazooka team. Eating fours. Two hits. Come on, give me one more shock. Break that bazooka team. Oh yeah, there it is. That's uh, a shock. In light cover? Yeah, four fives and sixes. Uh, so the bazooka team is going to break. Um, we'll sort it out. Change that. We screwed up. They were actually in hard cover because they were pinned with three. Because they had one more than guys, so they're so nothing from the tank. So they're just pinned there. Man, the Andre skated there. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that's it for me. The tank. Yeah, so it'll be the American phase. Hey, a five. Hey. And three threes and a four. Chain of command. Alright, so Lieutenant Donaldson and the squad have marching fired over this direction. And they're gonna fire at these guys in fours. One, two, three, four, four hits. Four hits. Let me use four of your dice real quick. Oh, sure. Use yeah. the green dice. Use the American dice. But I am in hard cover because I'm closer to this uh, rock wall than they are. Oh, oh, two dead. Don't be my main man. Oh, thank God. That was bad. Casualties. Anything else? Um... Two dead Volks Grenadiers, Andre is done. Another five. Yeah, two and a one and a four. Okay. To start with, we're gonna have Vesterman is gonna have the what's left of these guys. One, two, three, four, six guys fire back at that BAR team. Needing fives. Two hits. Come on, kill them. Give me two sixes. Nope, just two shock. Okay. Uh, and I have a two and a one left. And I will have the coax and the whole gun fire at the bazooka team. So do they fire one at a time or? No, just both at the same time. It's the same, it's the tank. Okay. Yeah, because I was thinking, so I could get 17 shots needing fives out of that squad, or I can get 12 shots needing four out of here. I don't know. Andre, you're the. Uh, odds guy, what's what's a better what, <laughs> what's better odds there? I'm, Travis, you told me I am not allowed to ever tell you. The never odds. tell me the odds. No, okay, never say never. <laughs> <laughs> tell me the odds. Okay, we're going with the two machine guns from the tank. Needing fours. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it got me one extra hit. Doing it that way. Of course, I would have had five more dice. But. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I need enough. I need the five here to break the to break the bazooka team since they're in hardcover. 
Oh, they're dead. <laughs> nice. All we had to do was break, and yeah. I could have regrouped. It's probably better off that way for bad things. Her old team wiped out. Team break's probably worse. Team wiped out. Minus one, yeah. If you would have broke, you would have been minus two on that. Yeah, but I just still had them, and... Bazooka team wiped out. Could have pulled them back together. I got my s senior leader right here. It's, I mean, how hard is it to pull five... Sh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, the Panzer IV has got his revenge for ruining his gun sight. And that's it for me. Now Andre's down to his uh, AT gun, wherever it may be. No fives. Well, in full disclosure, I haven't actually brought any of my support on. Right. Oh, uh, you had what, seven? Yeah. Or six? Eight. 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 Okay. All right, so he's and got... And no uh, fives again. Yeah. Two threes, two ones, and a four. Ah. All right, marching fire, another six-inch marching fire move. And Andre's going to try to remember his re-roll his ones this time. So just uh, right in this area here. And uh, needing fours because of the... Whoa. Man, that's a lot. That's a lot of hits. <laughs> How many is that? Uh, nine. Nine hits? Or at uh, least I got four misses. Oh, damn. And even after I told Andre to re-roll Yeah, well, I don't think I did, but, well, All right. but who knows. Hard cover? Ah, oh, two more dead. And two, two shocks. Shot. So see if it's uh, Vesterman. It is it Vesterman. Is. No. Oh, no, it's one of the leaders. We'll see which leader it is. It is Vesterman. He's knocked out. Vesterman's down. And I lose one guy. I better get these guys out of here. Obviously, these Americans know how to shoot. Because <laughs> I've been getting my ass kicked over here. Uh, so, bad thing. Senior leader wounded or knocked out. That's probably, probably one. minus one. We'll check that. Uh, are you going to do anything else, Andre? Uh, I guess I could, couldn't I? Yeah, you still got stuff to do. So I've lost three guys out of that one Sturm squad, and then Vesterman is down. And it's uh, dropped down to eight. So American phase or German phase. More fives. More fives. <laughs> Do I need more fives at this point? Uh, yeah. Two ones and a two. Uh, so all I did with the two and the one, I just activated this squad, and they ran back here, took a shock, dragged Vesterman with them. But at least they're out of the line of fire. So it's pretty much up to my two tanks now to start moving up. If I can get any threes. No fives. <laughs> One, two, two, three. So Andre's just gone on overwatch with these guys. And that's it. So German phase. On threes. There's, There's some, some threes. threes. Yep. No fives. But two threes. So tanks are going to have to start moving up. So the Panzer IV got a hell of a move. He's got within four of that jump out point. So that's shut down. And then the Stu 42 has moved up 11. And it is now American phase. Double phase. Oh, and two fives. And a four. And a four. Okay. Uh, only thing Andre did was he had uh, Lieutenant Donaldson. He sent a scout team out this direction. Woohoo! Double fives. Oh, and I did use my chain of command dice to drop him three. And I'm within striking distance again. Yeah, and I'm at one, so. <laughs> so I'm not dropping you fast enough. One, two, four. Andre's not going to do anything. All right, I need fives. Lots of fives here. <laughs> I feel like I've been dropping you and you're still... You've dropped me a full die. Well, I got one. Yeah, I did drop you a full die. And then, uh, okay, I got my threes that I need for to move my tanks. Okay, so the 242 got a 15-inch move. He's all the way up there now. This guy went through the woods on 2D6, and he is going to fire his uh, coax at that scout team. Uh, half effect a machine gun. So need fours. Three hits. Damn. In the open. Oh, they're dead. The scout team is killed. That sounds like a bad thing. That's probably minus one. So you're down to eight. Scout team destroyed. All right, so American phase. Don't get any fives. Yeah, see. Oh, good, no fives. Thank God. One, one, two, three. Wow. Andre's brought in one of his support units, which is that 57 mil gun there. Don't forget to put the rest of your crew with him. Or would um, this be a two? I'd do a three because then you could hit on a four instead of a five because you can focus the fire of it. Okay. So he's going to fire at this 242. Uh, needing a uh, four. Oh, you got it. Whew. 
just. I guess it is a good thing I. Uh, yeah, you would have missed if you didn't. To you. That would have. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That would have been horrible for you. Okay, but uh, so he's an AP seven. I'm armor seven. So let's see if I can do better than last time, which I got nothing on. I got two. two. Uh, that's gonna be. Andre's got. Whoa. Oh man. There's Andre. my Yahtzee. <laughs> Yahtzee. <laughs> he's dead. He's dead. He's been killed because he got three net hits. Wow. Oh man, I should never told you. I should have told you to use the two. <laughs> well, if I'd have saved that roll for my next roll over here, I would have won the game. But... Oh my god. Now the Stu 42 has been killed by the AT gun. Okay. Oh man. Okay, so that was a three. That's not good. <laughs> um... Alright, so he still has uh, two ones and a two left. Oh, Andre's moved. Uh, who is that? Uh, Horton's squad up. And that's it. So, German phase. I did lose one more uh, for my tank being lost, so I'm down to seven force morale. Double phase. That could help. No, no fives, though. <laughs> and a one, three, four. The thing I'm going to do is I'm going to have this LMG squad fire at all these guys. Even fives. Uh, one, two. One, two, three. Only four. Four hits that time. So, yeah, split them up. Two on the gun, two on the squad. Okay. The gun is white. So, a dead and a shock on the gun. Wow. And a shock on the squad, too. So, check your leader and check your leader. Nope. So, it is a dead and a shock on the gun and a shock on the squad. Uh, and that was a three. I got a four left. My guy's knocked out. Desterman. So he can't do anything. I got a one. I got nothing left. So we'll go on to the next phase. Hey, a five. Woohoo! I need those. <laughs> a bunch of twos and a three. Okay. First we'll have them at the LMG squad again fire at these guys. With one of the twos. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven that time. Much better. And we'll do uh, split it up. I guess three on the gun, four on the squad. Well, you got to roll the two teams separately. So uh, two on the BAR team and then two on the uh, rifles. So do um, the BAR team first. Well, okay. Oh, so you're not hitting this gun? No, I'm hitting that with three and then four for the squad. But you got two teams in there. So, so if I'm in cover, why do you get to choose? Well, fine. Put four on the BA, three, or however you want to do it. <laughs> well, three on the gun. So and... I've got two teams here. Right. So I got the BAR team, the rifle team, and the gun. So we've, you're hitting three things, right? Yeah. So you got five hits. Okay. So however you want to do it. So one on the BAR. Nothing. Rifle team. Two, two shock. A dead and a shock. And the uh, gun. A shock. A shock. Well, I had seven hits. Yeah, I had more than that. So the BAR was nothing. The AT gun was a shock. The right, the rifle team was a... Shock and a dead. Shock and a dead. So you have two more hits to distribute. Okay. Um, the gun. Okay. Nothing. And the rifle team. Uh, shock. Another shock. Okay, so we'll figure it out. The Panzer IV, he's uh, continued his string of good good move rolls, and he's moved all the way up here. And Andre's going. No fives. Two twos, a four, and a three. So at least you can move do the gun. That is... So, so bad. Gun is rotated. He pulled the shock, rotated, and then, what now? Uh, Donaldson had this squad marching fire, and he's going to fire at the LMG squad. Eating fours. Lots of fours. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven hits. Man, it sucks getting hit on fours, man. Yes, it does. It's horrible. <laughs> Terrible. Uh, soft cover. Uh, 
Dead in a shock. And I almost remembered to roll my one. <laughs> you haven't re-rolled one yet. <laughs> it's horrible. All right, so uh, dead in a shock. Last thing Andre did, he brought uh, Sergeant Cox's squad out here. So yeah, there's. Uh, it's not looking good for the Germans already. Getting hit in the fours is crap. Hey, another five. Still getting, you're gonna knock me down again, aren't you? I'm gonna try. <laughs> One, two, four. No, th oh, okay, I can make a three. Thank God. If I would have got stuck there with the tank, I'd be screwed. <laughs> I'd be really screwed. Uh, so this is going to have to be the, the tank and the four. I have nothing. So the tank is it. All right, so we got to do a good move here. Hands are four. You can do it. Ah, not nice. bad. So a 12-inch move. Okay. Very good. Panzer four made it over there. And it's your phase. I just got to get around the corner here and start lighting these dudes up. If I can. One. Oh no, two fives. And a one. He's getting closer. Okay. So, um, uh, one and a two. All right. With the one, he's brought a flamethrower in. The dreaded flamethrower. So 12 dice on the... Uh, Tank needing six. We have a house rule. We need sixes to get a shock because it's too easy to kill. Uh, three shock. Three shock. I think that might be it for him. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I think their crew is going to bail. I think they bail on three, and then the command tank would bail on four. So that's it. That's game then. I can't possibly get two units off the board now. There's just no way. So we'll come back and wrap it up. Yeah, that'll be game. Um, I don't. There's no way in hell I'm going to get off the board at this point. Uh, so the crew of the Panzer IV is bailed out. They took three shock. They're gone. That thing's dead. And there's no way I'm going to get past two squads hitting me on threes, and I have to cross all this open ground. And then I have uh, part partially partial squad back here with a wounded Vester or a knocked out Vesterman then way the hell back there I got my LMG squad so yeah it's tough uh, getting hit on one e one easier is it's horrible <laughs> it's, yeah no it's uh, Get, getting hit on fours at long range is bad well and granted my rolling didn't suck no yeah I think you only needed three sixes and normally it's a five or a six to do a uh, shock but you know we've talked we've seen tanks just well, get wiped out well, so they, easily. it's an automatic uh, wipeout pretty basically much. yeah um but on sixes, sixes i should have only got one you know two uh yeah. sixes, two was average sixes you have a decent chance of at least surviving well one and shot. i expected him to survive but i knew you know he, I, he had to stop and you know deal with a flamethrower with shock which um, you know, I was okay with that, and I was pretty sure I could. Well, these guys were all going to start moving across, and uh, well, frontal assault uh, on your troops. <laughs> these over guys, here. Yeah. yeah. Well, if I would have survived, I was I was going to jump over. I was going to come around, and then with all three work on these guys. Yeah. Drop your force morale down, and hope the tank lived, and drive around and start machine gunning these guys down. I kind of thought you might have a uh, flamer, but I didn't know for sure, so. Yeah, no, I looked at the, uh, I mean, with eight points, I really needed the 57. Yeah, um, definitely. And I really wanted to bring, in, bring an entrenchment for it, but then I would have just had two more entrenchments. And it's like, oh, for three points, yeah, it's, well, I expected this to, you know, the bazooka team, that's kind of how uh, going after tanks works a lot, is you go out there, you take your shot, and it just exactly. doesn't happen. <laughs> yeah. And, Especially yeah. when it's even, even AP yeah. versus armor. It's... So with, with these, you know, I didn't think two weapons was going to be good enough to take out two tanks, honestly. But even, even the ar uh, AP7, AP7, that one roll that you had. That was just a lucky... That was a superior hell of a lucky roll. Yeah, I should have taken maybe a one or two, uh, one or two pen roll, but yeah, just yeah, losing that, yeah, I was pretty much so, screwed. Did I come at you real hard on the uh, tanks? Yes. Was it overpowered? I I think I just got lucky, more than I brought too much power. 
Yeah, you got lucky on that roll, killing that thing. Yeah, well, I got lucky on this roll, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Better to be lucky than good, right? Um, Sometimes. that's pretty much my motto. <laughs> it's the only way I win games. So, uh... Yeah, what was your plan? Did you have a plan? It was just react? Um, well, like you called it, I wanted. I was thinking I'd bring the uh, 57 into these woods here, but you hose that, you know. You, That's where I thought it would you go. You shut that down. I figured it'd be a squad and the 57 in there to soak up hits. So I knew I had to shut that down. And then I even got onto that uh, jump off point and t yeah. captured it. Yep. But yeah, then losing this thing, that was pretty that, much screwed. That really, yeah, that shot just kind of took you down. Um, yeah. No, right. really, I was, uh, I was, I was worried. I mean, I wasn't sure that I could stop the tanks, period. And, you know, coming across, you know, you had that last little sprint there. And, yeah, yeah I've got a lot of firepower, but with a double phase, um, yeah, but I still have to get over the fence. <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah. So it's 2d6 remove the highest, so I would be stuck out here, and then I would need a double phase. Yeah. But if you could have gotten enough guys, uh, you know, in position, or maybe you just run them out the uh, front of the house, too. I can't get out. I can't get in. There's no door back here. Oh, the, well, no, there's a door back there. Oh, right here, yeah. You, well, then I had to jump over <laughs> and then run in, yeah. Or just didn't jump over the first time, but... Yeah, I probably should have left him there. That was a mistake. But, uh, yeah, my plan was, well, kind of, I I was talking about putting a base of fire there. Yeah. And then just bringing the two tanks in and driving up. And then I was going to line, I was going to get all my uh, Sturm squads in here within 18 inches of you. So that I got three shots per guy. Ah. And just start lighting you up. But uh, that's why I was half tempted to bring these guys around, line the fence, take yep. the overwatch. Yeah. And then just blast you with three like that's a lot of shots it is that's like 21 shots well and i did mention that in my shots. uh <laughs> was my uh briefing was uh stay out 18 inch range of you yeah i never even got to use my uh, assault rifles too much open ground but it could have yeah. used them here but yeah i was kind of you leery did, about taking that overwatch you'd have taken the overwatch hitting on threes and <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I mean, I don't know if I'd have pulled a chain of command dice to pull them back or not, but no, I doubt it. You had to build up. Yeah, well, yeah. So, yeah, but yeah, it was a good game. Green troops are just hard to use. Um, oh, you know what? I screwed up too, Andre. I should have only had a four-inch deployment distance from the jump-off point, but I don't think it. I was four, within four here. Well. And I'm within pretty much it's four. It's hard as hell to get that many guys within four I don't think inches. I went more than four from any... Maybe when I deployed here, I did. Yeah. Maybe, but it wasn't it's a big deal. It's not like it had any real effect. No. I mean, the deployment distance was a lot more important for me. Yeah, it didn't... Yeah, so I did forget that, but it, I don't think it played any part in the game. So, yeah. So, yeah, hard to use green troops. Well, um, and... <laughs> yeah, I mean, this, you know, me in the open, you in cover... And it was a pretty fair fight. Well, I kept rolling double sixes every time, too. That didn't help. Well, I and the, I mean, the first and right. couple times we exchanged fire, we just both whiffed. Yeah. But eventually you got the better of me. Well, I figured out, hey, I don't have to try and do cat and mouse here. I can just come out and blast away. And um, right. my full fire against your full fire, you lose. Unless I'm within 18. And then I win, <laughs> if I can get that. Quick. Which I actually... <coughs> That's what I was trying to do, was get these guys to rush and get up to this wall. Yeah. And then... And I actually never forgot about that. <laughs> um, but they, never they got that. hammered uh, before they... Yeah. Okay, well, that's it. Uh, yeah, that'll do it for this game. So uh, anyone that's left here, uh, don't forget the Caesar Awards are, are at the end. The last day to vote for the Caesar Awards for Tabletop CP is the end of this month, so if you haven't voted for us, vote for us. If you have, then vote again. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there's a limit to voting. So. Vote early, vote often. Yeah, so just uh, yeah, vote for Tabletop CP and the uh, Little Wars TV Caesar Awards. This is for the live streamers. I know that anyone watching this two years from now probably won't know what the hell I'm talking about, but... Uh, but you can vote for us anyway. Yeah, so I should have not said that on camera, but I did anyway. So if you happen to watch this, though, 
before the end of the year and you haven't voted, then vote for us. The year being 2021. 2021, yes. You some kid in like 2075, like watching this, like, what is he talking about? <laughs> I voted, but uh, man, I was the only one. <laughs> <laughs> Those guys have been dead for like 50 years. <laughs> All right, so that'll do it. So again, as usual, check out our uh, Patreon page. Um, if you want to get some bonus content, uh, we do game previews, we do patron only campaigns, all kind of cool stuff. So if you want to, you know, support the channel and help this channel get better and keep us going, then uh, that's a good way to do it. And then our Facebook group as well, all the other social media stuff that we have. Check all that out. And with that, we'll say uh, Merry Christmas to everyone, and thanks for watching. <laughs>